Hi, my name is Jessica Parsons. Today, let's discuss an important part of higher education, the community college. A community college is typically a two-year university that awards associate level degrees and certificates in skills or training completion. Some community colleges are beginning to offer four-year degrees. Now, this is a newer practice and in the early stages of adoption by some community colleges. The mission statement of the Maricopa Community College District is a wonderful example of the purpose of a community college. Community colleges in America fulfill the distinct need for affordable educational opportunities throughout educational and career journeys while fostering lifelong learning. We'll be taking a closer look at Maricopa Community College District and its Paradise Valley Community College. PVCC is one of Maricopa's 10 community colleges located throughout the Phoenix Valley area. To further simplify the purpose of community colleges, we can say that the community college offers comprehensive educational programs that help students to begin their path toward university or to prepare to start a career. These colleges are serving the community by providing vocational training and expanding the public school system to meet the diverse needs of students and community industries, all while acting as a hub of innovation in higher education. Since 1901, community colleges have provided a means for all students to have access to higher education through open admissions policies. This levels the playing field and allows community colleges to be accessible to all individuals at a variety of stages of their lives. Throughout the years, community colleges have helped to shape and innovate areas like online learning and student services, paving the way for university adoption of similar programs. So we know what a community college is, but why do students choose community college over starting at a university? Well, financial reasons are a major factor as tuition for community colleges is a fraction of university tuition costs. Data provided by PVCC shows that most of their students intend to transfer to a university after completing their program. The secondary reason students attend is to advance in the job market. Now these two reasons for PVCC students align beautifully with the purpose of community college. All right, so now we know the why of community college. Let's talk about the how. Like any organization, leadership plays an important part in the success of the community college district. Unlike some states where community college districts are governed by the Department of Education's board, Arizona's community colleges are tasked by Arizona legislation to elect a governing board. These members will be elected by voters to represent each voting district and will oversee the operation of the college district, especially in legal, financial, and compliance matters. They will also approve the curriculum and hiring of certain key positions, such as the chancellor for the district. The chancellor acts as CEO of the community college district, selecting college presidents, overseeing operations, and providing regular reports to the governing board. So if we think of a chancellor as a CEO, let's think of college presidents like branch managers. These presidents are selected by the chancellor with input from the colleges. These presidents will oversee daily operations, set goals for the college, and provide oversight on initiatives all while regularly reporting back to the chancellor. Now, when we get down to the community college level, we can see just how many vital roles are filled by faculty, staff, and academic leadership. Vacancies are a constant challenge throughout higher education, but especially in community college, as experienced faculty and staff continue to retire or move between colleges, often faster than they can be replaced. For the sake of brevity, we're going to pause to examine the three key areas overseen by the vice presidents of your typical community college. This will provide insight into how community colleges organize themselves to complete a complex mission. Starting with academic affairs, this represents the individuals, departments, and divisions that handle instruction. In Maricopa, divisions are sorted by fields of interest, like fine arts or STEM. Student affairs includes all of the services that students need to get enrolled, pay for class, and succeed, including student life, PVC's on-campus social worker, and even the campus food bike. 
Administrative services are all of the behind the scenes work that keeps the college running. This includes budgets, facilities management, IT services, and college safety to name a few. It's important to realize that when working at a community college, a person generally fits into one of two categories, faculty and staff. Faculty full-time positions are becoming more rare in community colleges, replaced instead with adjunct or part-time teacher positions. This creates an inequity and can lead to higher turnover and fewer protections for faculty workers. But it does provide the benefit of instructors who are often actively working in their fields. Professional staff may teach, but usually will work on the essential operation of the college. However, their behind-the-scenes nature often means that their work is not as recognized as that of their faculty peers. Returning for a second to instructors, they often act as mentors to classes, averaging between 15 and 20 students. These small class sizes are considered a point of pride by community colleges and a selling point to students. Earlier, we discussed why students attend community colleges. Now, let's examine who these students are. When we look at data from Paradise Valley Community College, we can see some universal trends. In this chart, we can see that students' race reflects the surrounding community. Community colleges attract a diverse student body, as well as underserved students and first-generation college students. Most students tend to be college age, in their late teens and early 20s, but many people return to community college throughout their lives to pursue career advancement, change fields, or to take a class in a passion area like dance or literature. Most community college students attend part-time while pursuing careers, caring for family, or managing other responsibilities, all while pursuing an education. These dedicated students have a strong desire for affordable and flexible options, something community colleges strive to provide. But community colleges can't operate without funding, which has been cut back in recent years, although new trends show positive funding efforts due to innovative approaches like lobbying. You might be surprised that the low tuition these students are paying doesn't make up the majority of funding for colleges. The majority of funding for Maricopa Community Colleges comes by way of property taxes and is distributed based on full-time enrollment. But remember how we said most community college students are part-time? Funding based on full-time student enrollment can be a big barrier for colleges, but efforts are being made to address this funding gap through lobbying and industry partnerships that demonstrate the value of these programs as well as their quality. We measure this quality through the process of accreditation. The Higher Learning Commission is the accrediting body for the Maricopa Community Colleges and through the process of peer review, documentation, reflection, and analysis measures the success of community colleges to identify strengths and areas for growth. This accreditation looks at all of the programs offered at each community college. While not all 143 disciplinary programs are offered at every Maricopa College, this list provides an overview of the scope of programs offered that help students to meet their goals and better serve their communities and the industries around them. On the path to serving community industries, partnerships are essential to community colleges. Through district-wide and college-based partnerships, community colleges can provide unique learning opportunities to students and industry reskilling opportunities. The core benefit lies in the opportunities for industries and colleges to work together to ensure that students are learning high quality skills that industries need now and in the future. This amazing work certainly comes with many unique challenges. Let's take a look at a few of them. So as students are exiting high school, they're often unprepared for college work. Students who take remedial courses face challenges like low success rates and courses that are ineligible for financial aid. This leads many students to give up before their educational journey truly begins. While transfer is a major goal for community colleges and their students, a fraction of students transfer successfully. Finally, rising expectations are a major challenge for community colleges, with more Generation Z students choosing to skip college altogether. There's a distinct need for colleges to find ways of appealing to this group through innovative, fast, and high-quality programs that are financially achievable. 
Despite these challenges, community colleges serve a vital role in the community, providing transfer opportunities, skill building, community engagement, and vocational training with limited funding and resources. Somehow, through this whirlwind of innovation, teamwork, and the overcoming of barriers, students find success, whether at university or in their communities. Community colleges can serve students like no other educational institution. Thank you so much for your time, and I hope you learned something about community colleges today. Mm -hmm.